Hey guys, Engineer Geek here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to wire up a joystick module uh, to display that information onto an LCD and also how to control LEDs with the joystick. For this circuit, I've got the LEDs to turn on when the Y axis and X axis values of the joystick reach their maximum, as well as when the button of the module is pressed. As you can see, maximum Y, maximum X, and the button. The first part you're going to need is the joystick modules. I got this part of my sensor kit. However, you can find it in many, many different bundles and buy them for quite cheap. I'll leave links in the description. Uh, I'll mention the theory of this joystick module in just a minute. So stay tuned for that. I'm using this LCD as an easy way to show you guys the readings. However, you don't need the LCD to work with the joystick module. Of course, you can use joystick by itself and just use serial print functions to read the data. However, to make it easy for you guys, I'm using the LCD. Uh, you're obviously going to need to grab yourself some jumper wires. Uh, some type of Arduino or microcontroller and then if you want to control some LEDs with the joystick of course you're going to need to grab yourself some LEDs on the theory side I'll quickly talk about how a joystick module works as I feel like if you know how a joystick module works the code side makes a lot more sense uh, the basics of a joystick module is that it's two potentiometers so one going up, one going across some facts about a potentiometer a uh, potentiometer is an analog input uh, it reads between 0 and 1023. Uh, they're fairly inexpensive, you can get them for quite cheap. And they have a wide range of uses such as controlling servos, controlling motors, lighting, sound control, voltage control, etc. A potentiometer is basically just a variable resistance. So inside of the potentiometer you'll have this resistive material, which kind of makes like a loop shape, uh, which is usually made out of graphite because it's quite, quite inexpensive. Uh, so you'll connect one end of the resistive band to your positive and one end of the resistive band to your negative. And then this wiper, which moves as you turn the uh, turn the dial on the potentiometer, it'll always try and find the path of least resistance. So if you set your winder to one side where it can complete a circuit very quickly, it's got a small amount of resistive material to go through. So therefore the overall resistance is going to be lower. And of course the opposite happens when you set it to a higher value, you get higher resistance. The Arduino can read what this resistive value is. That input can then be used to trigger LEDs on, for example, servos, motors, things like that. For the first part of the wiring, we look at the joystick module. As you can see on the joystick module, uh, you've got a pin for your Y axis, you've got a pin for your X, pin for your B, which is your button, uh, your positive and your negative. So you can connect your Y and your X to your analog pins, doesn't matter which two. Uh, for your B, your button, I'll connect that to any digital pin, I've connected it to pin 2. And your positive and negative connected to your positive and negative on your breadboard. The LCD isn't the main component in this circuit, so I won't really talk about it too. On the back of my LCD, I've got an I2C adapter, so as you can see, uh, it's got ground, VCC, uh, data and clock. This was mentioned in another video, so all you need to do is put your ground and your VCC to your breadboard, ground and VCC. And then connect your data and your clock to your data and your clock on your Arduino, which is usually found at the top of the digital pins. To wire the LED, simply connect the negative lead of the LED into the ground rail of the breadboard. And then connect the positive leg of each LED to a digital pin. In this case, I've used 7, 8, 9. Thank you very much for watching today's video. As always, I'll leave links for everything in the description, including the code and where you find all the parts. If you have enjoyed today's video, please uh, please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe for more content in the future. Goodbye.